my uh, primary focus uh, in this field is obviously contemporary Chinese art, including um, the art produced in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And uh, I did um, a number of shows, and one of the most recent one was uh, the Guangzhou Triennial in 2012, in collaboration with my colleague um, Jonathan Watkins from the Icon Gallery. So we co-curated that show uh, in Guangzhou. It included um, uh, more than 80 artists coming from 24 countries and areas. It was a very big, ambitious uh, project. It is so um, interesting for me to continue um, the dialogue uh, between myself and the artists and get myself involved within the creative uh, uh, development um, in the contemporary art context. I think making a show, let's say making a show for contemporary Chinese art, if you make, in, make it in China, or make it in England will be very different because you are facing uh, a completely different set of audience. And that will involve some translational issues as well. What I mean translational is artistic or curatorial translation. But for me, having been in England for I don't know, 15 years now, and I think uh, one of the beauties of translation is its inaccuracy. Um, and I think um, this kind of inaccuracy actually um, matches the confusion uh, an art piece can make for contemporary audience. At the Guangzhou Chinese, we are having um, more than um, 200,000 people visit uh, the show uh, in three venues and we've got uh, another three off-site uh, international off-site projects in London, in Birmingham and in Beijing. One of my uh, current projects which is the Asia Triennial Manchester coming up very soon and this will include six venues across Greater Manchester and I think it is not the question whether one can understand a piece of artwork, but whether he can experience it in a different way.